Is it normal for new boots to squeak? It's totally normal and almost expected. How can I stop my boots from squeaking? Just proper maintenance, really. Will the squeaking go away on its own? Usually it'll go away on its own, though trouble cases you might, you know, reach out. How can I prevent my boots from squeaking in the future? Keep them dry, proper maintenance, including oiling them or waxing them um, on the inside if you have a squeak. Hi everyone, welcome to the Nick's Boots YouTube channel. I'm Andrew, I'm an assistant production manager here and lead boot maker, and today we're going to be talking about squeaks. Why do boots squeak? Um, first off, they're made out of leather. A lot of leather goods will just squeak in general. You know, car seats, leather boots, leather pants, leather jackets, they all squeak. It's a natural material. Um, there's a lot of like fibers and things, and so they tend to rub together in places that cause squeaks. So as you start stacking some of these layers together, naturally over time they're gonna rub. Also, it takes a little bit of time for the leather to soften a bit as you're kind of breaking it in. So fresh out of the box, a boot will tend to squeak until it settles down quite a bit. So what are some common causes for our boots to squeak? Aside from them just being new out of the box, kind of breaking in, you, there could be some known trouble spots. So one spot is kind of where the ball, where you kind of push up like this. You can see right here, all these layers kind of come together. So possibly there could be some small delamination in here that would cause some squeaking. If a nail, perhaps, isn't pushed through all the way, if it kind of, on the inside, clenched prematurely, that could cause the nail to rub back and forth. If the fibers of the insole are super tight and you have a super boardy insole, it could be good for longevity, but this can cause squeaking as well. Moisture is another reason why a boot could squeak. If you're not allowing your boot enough time to dry in between wears, what can happen is that some water can get in or moisture in general, and that can cause breakdown of glue long-term. Or in the heel counter, if it's not sanded properly, the smooth can rub against the smooth and can cause some squeaks as well. Because these are a handmade product, sometimes issues can happen during the production, um, and this can cause squeaking. If you suspect that your squeaks are coming from a manufacturer error, uh, just contact customer service and we'll help troubleshoot what's going on. If it's concluded that it is a manufacturing error, there's no problem with just sending them in and we can fix it right up. Do some leathers squeak more than others? Uh, yes, but also no, because after the break-in, sometimes you know everything will settle, but you might see some more squeaks with leathers that are more veg tan in nature. So the insole is veg tan, and if it's too fibrous, too tight, it's going to squeak a bit until it settles down. But also if you have some of these more treated, like the waxed flesh or the double stuff, those can squeak out of the box as well. All of this is a normal part of the break-in process. Anything that persists past the break-in process, we can look into, but usually they'll kind of settle themselves down. Why would you want to buy a boot that has the possibility of squeaking? The longevity of the boot. Um, these handmade boots will last a lot longer than you'll get somewhere else from a department store. Over time, they will form to your foot and it'll be basically a custom boot that is only for your foot. So as the boot loosens up and really gets super comfortable, that's around the time that most squeaks will kind of transition away as well. So out of the box, it may be more noisy and less comfortable. Over time, the squeaks will go away and the comfort will increase. If you're concerned about squeaks, we do have other options of models, our 360s. They have a rubber insole and that will lessen the squeaks out of the box. They have a veg tan insert that you can place in there so you're not losing anything. You're just gaining a little bit more versatility in a way. You can replace that insert on the 360s with one of our other options for veg tan inserts. But if you like the leather construction, there are a few things that you can do during the break-in process and after that can cure some squeak issues that you have. One thing that you can do, you can take the oil or the grease that we send with the boots and you can oil on the inside right along here, especially on these trouble spots, and that'll help loosen everything up as well. You can do the same thing if you're experiencing some squeaks in the heel counter and you think that it's higher and not lower. You can 
grease in the heel and that will help absorb. Another thing you can do is just keep your boots dry. Using things like boot trees or fans, things like this, keep them in a dry location, especially if you work in wet climates. And this will also help increase the longevity of your boot and the durability. So those are all the reasons why you could have squeaks and how to deal with them. So there are a little bit of trade-offs and if you think that it's a bigger problem, definitely contact us. But with the proper maintenance, you can definitely reduce or even get rid of the squeaks entirely. Hopefully you found this video helpful um, and thanks for watching. Funny, cause I do, ha I feel like I have a smirk half the time, yeah. but, but when it's like, like this, I'm like. Why do my boots squeak? Because they're made out of leather, dummy.